Alright, welcome back to the next episode in my tower defense series where I teach you guys how to make a tower defense game in Unity. So in the last episode, we uh, finished up the towers, I added a barrel, and made it shoot um, the enemies with a bullet. It's all visual though, so don't worry, it's not going to affect the actual shooting mechanic. And in this episode, we're just going to do some remedies, you know, fix up some problems we had, like layer masking and making the bullets get destroyed when they hit an enemy. So let's tackle that second problem first. Let's get the bullets get destroyed by the enemies. So to get started with that, what we want to do, just get rid of the tower, because according to this right after the last episode, what we want to do is inside our basic enemy prefab, we can see we don't have a box glider 2D. We actually need that. So let's just add a box glider 2D to it, like so. Now that we have that, we can just plop out of that, because we don't need that anymore. Make sure to go into your bullet script, also add a box collider 2D, and that's with the colliders. Now actually go back into your um, en your enemy script here, and make sure to, now we're going to add a tag, so if, if I went too faster, click on your basic enemy, under the name you will you will see this um, drop down called tag, you can see all these little tags, we're going to add a new one, so just go into this new menu here, you can see the list is empty, go over to this plus mark right here, and then I'm just going to add it as a tag of enemy, like so. So now that we have that, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go back and tag your enemy as an enemy. Now that we have that, we can then go into Visual Studio, open up your bullet script, and above the private void update, because I, I, I like the update being at the bottom normally. You can do private void on collision enter 2D. For now, we're just going to debug.log collision detected. So, let me go back into Unity here. We're just going to spawn in a basic tower, spawn an enemy. Alright, so as you saw in that little demo, I had to cut some stuff out because I couldn't speak English properly. We did not detect any collisions, which is a big problem. Now, you can see that the bullet was obviously shot there. Don't know why I just added a um, tower thing. You can obviously see the um, bullet should have hit something, but it didn't. Now, the problem is that the enemy is actually dead before the bullet gets there. And really, what, what we have to do is detect where the enemy died at, and then basically... Um, destroy the bullet there and that's a bit of a hassle but with bigger enemies like let's say this basic enemy had um i don't know a thousand health let's go into play here this this enemy is pretty much in invincible you can see that it doesn't still get detected which is a problem that i'm gonna need to fix i, d I don't know why it's not getting detected but we'll see right now all right, sorry about that. Looked on a wiki for the collision um, detection things, and it turns out I need to add a rigid body to this. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a rigid body 2D to this bullet here. Make sure to um, make sure to turn off um, make 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 sure to turn on kinematic and then use full kinematic contacts. Make sure those options are both checked or this won't work. And I don't know if I need to add a rigid body 2D to the enemy. Let's just hope and pray. Sorry for the unprofessionalism. Okay, as as you can see, now it's actually detecting the, the collisions when it hits the enemy, which is all good and wonderful. So now inside this debug dialog collision detection, we can just do transform, or sorry, destroy game object, like so. So now, if we go into our Unity player here, we can go into our thing. We can then go into Basic Enemy. Bam! It instantly gets deleted. Now, this may look bad. We can spice it up when we add um, animation stuff. But for right now, I think it looks pretty good. Now, one thing you may notice is that the first shot that, that the tower fires goes off in Never Netherland. Which is a big problem, because if you have a lot of towers, a lot of these first shots will occur. And what we need to do is make sure that the bullet destroys itself. So, above this uh, collision enter thing in the bullet script, we're just going to add private void start 
destroy game object and after 10 seconds so what so what this will do is it's, it's, it's not going to destroy the object right away but it's going to destroy 10 seconds after the bullet um, is instantiated which is cool so if we just go into the editor here and we don't even need, need to place tower we can just put a bullet in here wait for 10 seconds to pass which I have no idea when that's going to be There we go. That was apparently 10 seconds. I'm going to trust Un Unity's internal clock to be correct because I rely a lot on it. So, now that that is out of the way, we have the bullets being destroyed. We need to fix the um, render issue with the sprites. So, one, so the first thing we're going to do is you can see that the tower is rendered below the surface. That's a big problem. So let's go back to our hierarchy, drag out our basic tower, and under the sprite renderer, you can see this sorting layer. We need to add a sorting layer. We need to add a layer called tower. We already had a layer called tower barrels, tower barrels apparently, maybe from a previous episode that didn't get uh, recorded, or it did get recorded and deleted. So, yeah, and then, so we're going to have tower and tower barrels, and then right here, we're going to add a new layer and call it um, ground. We're going to put it below um, the tower and, and tower barrels so that the ground is drawn below them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, in between tower and tower barrels, is put a bullet layer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a an, an, an enemy layer. And that should be all the sorting layers we need. So, let's go back to the inspector. Click on your basic tower. Click on the sorting layer for um, the main tower as tower, of course. Make sure to go into your barrel and set its sorting layer to tower barrels. And now we can just click on the basic tower prefab. Click override. Sorry if I'm going too fast, you can slow down this video. All your choice to learn how learn at your pace. Now that the tower is done with sorting layers, go into your enemy. Go down to its sprite or sorting layer. And then click the enemy. And then in the map tile one, go to its sorting layer, click ground. And then in the bullet, go into its sorting layer and click bullet. Now if we play this, it should look fine. Our towers are rendered over the ground. Wonderful. And our enemies. And, and you can see the bullets are also rendered under the tower barrel compared to last episode. And the enemies are drawn above the ground as the um, tower is as well. Um, so that is it for today's episode. Sorry for the short episode. I know it's a bit short. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, make sure to like, comment, and and subscribe not to sound greedy but just if you want to you know see see my new content and like it it helps out my channel um if you need um any help with programming as, as i said um at least 10 times i may need help with english so if you guys have any so if you guys have any discord servers on english classes make sure to send it to me but anyways discord server all that stuff in the description my twitter i post random stuff and yeah, I'll see all you guys in the next video. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed it. Goodbye.